Did you click on this video because you're feeling tired? Well, if you did, I want you to smile, say cheese, because it's about to get good. We're gonna talk about why you're always tired and how you can stay charged up and stay committed to going after your goals, going after your dreams. The first thing that steals our energy is the 50 million thoughts running through our head. Are people going to like me? What am I going to look like? Believing all these different things, believing we're not good enough because we don't get something done. This stuff steals our energy. Thinking about too many different things. My boss wants me to do this. I got all these things to do at home. I got the kids, I got sports, I got all this st stuff to do. And then ultimately we don't do any of it because we're feeling tired, because our brain's just on autopilot running and running and running and running. Slow it down, remove some of these toxic thoughts. I bring up the mindset all the time, I know it. Because it's so important and it matters for everything. Just because we're not physically working, sometimes we're laying on the couch and we're, wait, we're draining more energy just laying on the couch because we're thinking about so many different things that need done. I gotta call this person. I gotta write up that email. I gotta work out. I gotta clean the house. The dishes, yard work, I gotta go pick up the kids. Whatever it is for you, all these things going on repeat that are paralyzing, worrying about what people are gonna think of us. Should I wear this? Should I say that? People aren't thinking about you most of the time. People are only thinking about themselves. We think about what people think about us, when in reality, they're not thinking about us. They're worried about themselves the same as you are. Remove some of these thoughts. And then that goes into having to do all these things to feel like you're productive. It zaps our energy. Well, he's doing all this stuff. I see it on social media, he's doing all of this. I'm not doing it. Man, he's just further ahead, he's further ahead, he's doing more. That steals our energy too. That's out of our control. That's not something we should be thinking about. That's not moving us forward. Also, I remember when I was just starting personal training, when I was just starting coaching, I wanted to coach teams, speed and agility stuff. I wanted to do individuals, do groups. I wanted to be a computer, I wanted to do the computer science thing. I wanted to do all these things. I wanted to do online personal training too. Bought a course on that. Trying to do all these different things and it's just pulling me further away from the real goal. Helping people. Because I'm not focused there. I'm stressed out about all these things trying to keep them all afloat. But I need to focus on one thing. And then that one little thing will grow into something big. You can expand out from there. Like those little spider webs. Remove some of these thoughts. Try to eliminate some of those worries. Remember, when you're thinking so much, you're draining your energy. You're just slowly dumping out the glass. Keep that glass full. Focus on that one thing and let that expand out into something greater. Then it goes into the negative environment that we have around us. Our family talking down to each other. Are we spitting fire at each other? It's like, whoa, what's going on in there? Then you build a habit of talking to people like this. Maybe it's not your family, maybe it's your friends. You guys are always gossiping. Your circle's always gossiping about people. That's toxic too. That's draining your energy. Because if you're judging others, then you're always gonna be worried about judgment. People judging you. If you buy this, what are they gonna think of me? If I go after this job, what are they gonna think of me? If I post this, are, are people gonna judge me? Because you're always judging everybody else for what they're doing. So talk with your friends about ideas, about how you guys are actually doing. How are you, buddy? You good? Why are you tired? You just, you slept eight hours. Why are you feeling tired? Let's talk about that. Let's help you out here. Let's talk about these things that make us better. Find that circle. Not only with your friends, negative environment can be a dirty household. Your bedroom's disgusting. Your living room, your kitchen. This stuff is draining us too because all of this is on our mind. And I gotta clean that, I gotta clean this. Don't let all these little things pile up on you because that's just heavy, that's weighing on you. Think about the horse when it has the carriage on. It can't run fast. It's like unhitching the carriage and taking off. When you release these thoughts, these emotions, these worries, let them go. Stop worrying so much. This leads me into the physical stuff. Too much caffeine, not enough water. I remember I used to drink a cup of coffee in the morning, pre-workout, 300 milligrams there, and then another late afternoon coffee. And it would just make me more tired. I'm exhausted because I'm, re I'm relying and I'm dependent on this coffee. Why do, I, why, do I need, why do I need this so much to work out, to work, to wake up? I just slept. Why do I need so much coffee right away? Because I, built it, I made it a habit and then I got dependent on it. Trust me, when you're not drinking so much coffee and you're hydrating your body, hydrating your life, you feel clean energy, energy that lasts. 
Your eyes don't get all watery and heavy. Yeah, but I gotta get this good workout in. I only, I only work out really hard when I, when I have this caffeine. Okay, good, save the caffeine for the, the workout. You don't need nine cups of coffee to talk to people. If you do, you're not doing something fulfilling. Let the love for what you do build the energy. Be your coffee, be your caffeine. Let that passion be your caffeine. I still have my cups in the morning, yeah. I still have, I still have a cup when I work out. I'm not saying don't have caffeine. I'm saying don't overdo the caffeine. We, sometimes we drink whole pots. We chug pre-workouts. We don't even know what's in them. This stuff gets me jacked. No, putting in the work gets you jacked. So sometimes too much of anything can be a problem. So maybe switch the tea here and there. Maybe see if you are dependent on it. You getting a bad headache if you don't have your cup of coffee? That's withdrawal. So yeah, limit that caffeine and crush some water. I'm gonna continue to say it, hydrate your body, hydrate your life. Hydrate your body, hydrate your life. You'll, re you'll be surprised with how much energy water can give you. There's power in that water, I promise you. There's power in that water, there's power in you, and there's power in getting rid of that negative toxic stuff that pulls our energy out of us, that zaps our zest for life. The next thing, we don't care about ourselves enough. We're worried about everyone else, again, and we're not taking care of ourselves, doing things that we love to do because we're so worried about what, what other people think. If we say no to them, they might not hang out with us anymore. They might not like us. They might not invite us next time. So what, you don't wanna go right now, say no. You wanna sit there and watch TV? Sit there and watch TV for a little bit. You wanna go outside, go outside. You wanna be by yourself, be by yourself. You gotta take care of you. Start exercising more. Take a look at your diet. A poor diet is stealing your energy too because it's not giving your body the efficient nutrients that you need. You'll have a vitamin deficiency, whether that's vitamin D, B12, iron. Vitamin D, get some sun. The sun's out. Sun's out, guns out. That's literal. It's recharging us. That's photosynthesis for the human body. Let's go. We're growing. We're getting stronger. That sun is life. The sun loves you, I promise. Don't get it twisted. The sun isn't out there to hurt you. The sun loves you. And I love the sun, so it's one love out here. That poor diet. Start eating the fruits and vegetables. Get rid of that nasty sugar that spikes you real quick and then crashes you later. You don't need that. Crush that addiction now. That's over with. And here's a bonus thing that you can do. Even Albert Einstein did this. This is a success habit. This is a power habit. Yeah, you're gonna laugh, but it's a power nap. Take a tactical nap. A calculated, deliberate nap that recharges our body. Because if you're moving efficiently, if you're working, working hard, you're putting in the work, you're getting up early, yeah, you might have to take a mid-afternoon nap, a one o'clock nap. They won't even be a nap though, it's a meditation because it's 10 to 20 minutes. Putting the binaural beats on. Albert Einstein used to sit in a chair, he would hold a spoon or keys or something, and as soon as it dropped and banged, it would wake him up. He wouldn't let himself fall into that stage two cycle of sleep. He would stay in the first phase, that hypnagogic state, the state where you can still think, you can still visualize, but you're a little dreamy. This is where you're thinking about your life, about what you want to accomplish, your dreams, your goals. This is where little inspirations flow through you, come to your mind, you, you get a quick thought. Oh, I should do this, I should say that. I need to write this book. This will make me better on the court. These little inspirations. If you're, giving your, if you're putting your heart and soul into something, it's gonna take some energy. So you might have to recharge just to get some new inspiration when you feel that dip of energy to bring you back up, but it's only 10 to 20 minutes. If you're being productive, that's okay. You deserve that, that's self-care. That's helping you release some of those toxic things, those to toxic thoughts, those 50 million thoughts. You're in this state, you're free, you're clear. You fall too deep into sleep, it might make you more tired. You know those 90 minute naps, man, I just slept so long, it felt good, but you wake up more groggy, more tired. It's hard to get back, it's hard to restart. I started doing this and I used to judge myself like, man, why do I have to nap? Should I, should I be doing this? It's like right in the middle of the day, man, this is weak. But then I realized, no, I'm doubling my efficiency because I'm waking up through this feeling like, let's go, it's time. It's a good thing, it works, it's all good. You deserve that. You know when you start to get tired and it's like hard to think about anything. So you just get on your phone and scroll. I said this the other day, I was like, I know I'm tired because I'm just scrolling on my dang phone. Use that time to recharge, to replenish. Sit in the sun. Lay on your couch quietly. Leave the phone somewhere else. Turn the TV off. Recharge with this little power, deliberate, calculated nap. 
that recharges us. And if that doesn't work for you, just stop saying you're freaking tired. I'm sick of asking you how you're doing and you answer with, I'm tired, I'm just tired. What? You're tired? I'm like literally asking how you're doing. You're gonna tell me you're tired? Let's get charged up. Fake it till you make it, I don't care. Stop saying you're tired. Stop telling people you're tired. Because what we tell ourselves is true. Thoughts are things. It's a powerful world. It's a powerful mind. Don't tell yourself you're tired or your body's gonna start believing that. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing wonderful. Life is amazing. This is that success army. Remember, I'm here to ignite your passion. It's one love always. And I hope you got some enjoyment out of this video. Please share it because we're trying to grow this army. We want to empower people to become a better version of themselves. Share the video. Let your friends know we're up to something. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps you in some way. I don't want you to be tired. I want you to wake up fulfilled. I want you to wake up happy and go after your dreams. Go after your goals. And we're all on the same mission. To become a better version of ourselves. Peace. Peace.